You're here because you think there's an engine mechanical problem that the cranking compression test did not find. First, you must perform a cranking compression test and record the results. This is your baseline for the running compression test. Remove only the spark plug for the cylinder that you think has a problem. Start the engine and snap the throttle and let the RPM stabilize. The needle on the gauge will then bounce between 50 and 60 PSI. The needle will not remain still for this test. Then snap the throttle wide open momentarily. The pressure will peak as the throttle restriction is removed. Record this reading. The minimum pressure should be 85% of the cranking compression results. If the running compression is below 85% of the cranking compression result, check for restrictions in the intake. If there is a problem with only one cylinder, check for a worn camshaft, a broken valve train component. It may be the problem. If a running compression test is higher than cranking compression, look for a restriction in the exhaust system. 